All right, the Subaru is locked. What's up, guys? So we're at the course where I fell in love with the game. I'm in Batesville, Arkansas. I'm at Lyon College. And I had a Nineveh starter set. I had a shark, a leopard, and an AVR that my dad got because someone he worked with played disc golf. And we had a college in town, the Mid-South College that you guys have seen. We went and played that with those three discs and the rest is history. And once I started throwing discs that weren't DX plastic and sharing a pack of three discs with two other people <laughs> and had a set of discs of my own, man, it, I really, really fell in love. It's a pretty fun little campus course. We're on hole one. I guess I'll get you just going so we can see the distances. So hole one's 172 feet. I got this brand new uh, tournament an anvil. Perfect for this hole. Let's go. That didn't, that wasn't too bad. I can't believe no one else is here. I ran into a buddy of ours, Chase. He was here with his family. When I got here, I was doing the drone fly throughs. I thought I'd run into him again, but their car's gone, so. All right. Let's see if we can get a birdie on the first hole. I gotta say, I'm pretty shocked at how stable that anvil. I know it's an anvil, no matter how much it weighs, but it only weighs 168 grams. So, 100, and, I think it's lighter than that, 166 maybe. Super light. I didn't even look at the uh, the weight of it when I picked it out. I just saw a really pretty purple, blue, and gray one. So I picked it up. Two is 241. Try to go beast on the keystone, just throw it on a little bit of a hyzer. Quite a bit of a hyzer, just let it flip up and ride down to the left. Boy, I let that go real late. Holy. We're gonna get this huge birdie putt, watch this. Take that par. After what I did off the tee, the par is pretty good. Hole three is 270. It's 270 feet. I'm just gonna try to go dead straight at it with this soft OX fuse. Let it flip up a little bit. Go straight. Hit something. I think I went in the road long, but it kind of went long and then turned over past it. So hopefully I'm close to the basket. Oh man, please be in. Like if I'm in, I'm just barely in. Come on, you can do it, Fuse. Be in bounds. I'll be out. Oh yes. Boys and girls, we are in bounds. This is a good angle. Oh man. Change the way the round goes, for sure. I like them. I will take pars, especially on this hole and the other hole. I like to get a birdie on two, but yeah, it's not a got a birdie. All right, guys, this hole 
305 feet, same disc. I'm gonna go hydro flip turnover with the Optox fuse. Over there to the right. Across the creek. Whoa. What about them apples? I did, I did a little lay down for you guys, a little lay down job. It's gonna be loud over here. There's a uh, dorm, dorms right there. They have massive air conditioner. So. This one's 290 feet. I don't really know what to throw here. This is getting kind of overgrown to the right. Got a medium harp. Just gonna punch it straight down that little hole there. Perfect. Let's go. What do you guys think about that harp, huh? It's a straight harp, isn't it? Let's go. Next hole is, I think, 209 feet. I think it's probably a little longer than that, but I just looked on you disc. It said six was 209. You gotta go uphill, but first you gotta go downhill, then back up a hill. So it's just slightly uphill from the tee pad. Just straight down and back up. 245 on the tee sign, I, I, I believe that. We're gonna go Opto X Keystone. You know what that means? It's time to go B Stone to Keystone. That is flippy. Whoa! What kind of reaction did you guys? Yeah, you guys seen that? That's entertainment right there. You guys, you can't, you can't pay for entertainment that good, right? Kind of weird. I don't know why I just got on the tee pad without even thinking about the wind. A straight headwind and threw a flippy putter. What a buffoon! And we're walking and we're talking. So guys, the verdict is in on the uh, uh, turf, Adidas turf soccer shoes, the Predators, Predator 19.3 TF. Bro. They are good. This one is over the hill, doo -doo, back there. 240, Sherman Anvil, in the bucket. That is way too left. It's not even thinking about the bucket. Actually, we're not that bad. We're uh, just at Circle's Edge. Still two down through seven holes. That's not bad. On the hole eight. It's 270 feet. You just don't want to hit the barn. I'm going to throw my BT hybrid anvil. Three is, I mean, it's a par three, 260 feet, I think the sign says. Hole nine. Oh, 
Uh, I'm gonna try to go straight at it with the fuse. It'll work. It didn't turn as much as I thought it would. All right, guys, hole 10, par 3, 320, down the hill, right before the fence. Not really any out of bounds to worry about. Dang. Of course. I would bounce it up into the trees. It's aggravating. I wanted to get this one. Maybe we'll get a circle two putt. Might work. Oh, that was ugly. Alright guys, hole 11, 210, it's over these trees, I used to throw the thumber but that tree there is blowing out too much for it so we're just going to try to pull the wind over. Nope, god that was awful. Keystone. Ah, he's not out of the way. Heads up! Hole 12 is shorty. 160. Par 3. Watch out! See if we can't ring one up. Man, that needed a lot of luck and it got it. I left that one way too high. And to the right a little bit. But four down through 12. I'm, not, man, I'm parked. Like, I got really lucky that I clipped that leaf because I think had it not clipped the leaf, it would have turned way over to the right. Are you guys ready for a video on how I did my cart? I've been talking about this for a long time. So this is 452 feet from the short pad. I can't remember how far it is from this long pad. Probably not a whole lot further, maybe 460, 475, I don't know. Out there in the field, we're four down. I'm gonna hit it with a sheriff because I got a tailwind. Oh my God. That's a birdie, dude. Oh yeah, I got a two on it. All right guys, 215, hole 14. I'm gonna throw this one properly this time. Tournament anvil. I know it's overstable, so I'm gonna throw it to the right. Let's get an eighth. Oh, oh, I've never hit that tree. Y'all, I'm pumped up right now. That hole, I've birded it one other time, that long hole. Me and Kyle birded it in double, so I haven't birded it, I don't think.
was like right here. It was like an inch left. Like what? 290. It's very uphill. Uh, I'm gonna throw my prototype Explorer at it. Perfect. Let's go. If I put these scores in, I'm gonna forget about them. Can't believe we got a 3 on 14. This hole's haunted! Oh no! Wouldn't it be funny if that's how I talk? I mean, I have nothing against people that talk like that. We have plenty of relatives that talk like that. We, just, we don't have a disc golf personality that is like that. Maybe that could be my niche. I'll just become like a super country disc golfer. Is there, is there a guy on YouTube already doing that? Man. I miss from Arkansas and Virginia. I slam them accents together and you go get them around on biscuits and gravy and wrap around them kitchens. Pretty sure I parked this hole. Man, did you hear my watch? Right when I was putting, it vibrated and then it went. Oh, okay. It didn't get me. For every time that it doesn't get me, I get better at resisting distractions. I'm a very distractible person. I don't know if you guys know that or not. I do pretty well in these videos because I always just record a bunch of rounds and then the hottest round gets put on YouTube. If I don't have a hot round for a month, y'all don't see nothing. But now I'm going to start putting them on regardless. 250, right to left wind. Fence is OB, pond is OB, sand pit is OB. I'm going to go medium heart. I tried to sumo it in, but I don't got much of a belly. All right, guys, hole 17 is a par three. It's 320 feet. Definitely a forehand hole for me. I'm gonna throw my Lucid X Sheriff. Hope for a skip. The grass hadn't been cut in what seems like two months, so. Nope, no skip. We'll have to try for a miracle birdie, sink a big putt to get this one. Man, I felt good about that drive too. Any other hole that would have skipped on. If you guys haven't tried uh, your favorite molds in the Lucid X variants, or Opto X or VIP X, I recommend it, man. They, they tend to be a lot skippier, and I think it's because they're a little stiffer. Take it though. Alright guys, par three, 335, hole 18. You really want to punch through this middle gap as best you can and get a good skip. Hard finish left. You don't want to go too far left because the road curves and it's all out of bounds long and left. I'm gonna go Lopto X Glimmer recoil. Died this up the other day. Need to loosen up because I'm a little stiff. Well, this is the luckiest a shot has ever gotten. I went through that tree. It's a cypress tree. Known for just grabbing them and holding on. Try to get this bird. Oh. Ah. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> Too wide. That sucks. Why? Why can't I just get that bird? That OB had me so scared. And the consequence of being scared, I almost bounced off the rim and went out of bounds. Six down, I'll take it. Dang it. Alright guys, so that was Lion College. We were six down through 18. It's a pretty fun course. Uh, pretty much where I learned to play disc golf. Hey, we went bogey free. Bogey free with six birdies. I will take bogey free any day of the week. Do me a favor, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one.